Hello and welcome to the last series of Bootstrap 5. Today we will learn about the tabs. Here we have three tabs home profile and contact and when you click on a particular tab the background color changes so that you can differentiate from the other tabs. The background color which is changed that is the active tab. You can make the links in the tab toggle the panel without writing any javascript so let's see how we can achieve this here i have created a black index.html file and next we'll go to the bootstrap website and copy the starter template to just get started copy and paste get rid of the unwanted lines We'll change the title to Bootstrap 5 tabs and copy the same text in our heading. Let us change the heading from H1 to H3. Now let's check in the browser. Okay, we are able to see the text. So now we'll create the div container. We'll give the class is equals to container and place the heading inside the container. We'll give some spacing on the top. Okay. Next, let's create the tab menu. We can do that by creating the unordered list. You will ally and inside a live we'll create an anchor tag and give our first tab menu which is home adding the nav nav tabs classes to the ul will apply the bootstrap tab styling and in the ally let us give nav item after that for the anchor tag we'll give nav link let's duplicate this and create other tab menus profile and contact we'll apply the active class for the first tab menu now let's create the content for this tab menu for that we have to create a div and give the class tab content and inside the content each tab pin will have the particular content for home profile and contact for the first tab pane we'll create a row and divide that row into two columns in the left hand side we'll keep the text and on the right hand side there will be an image so for the left column Let us give a heading home and a para. We'll go to lorem ipsum and copy the dummy text. Even for this tab pane, we have to give the active class. Next, go to pixabay.com and just download three images of your choice.
I'll copy these images to my Bootstrap 5 tabs folder. I'll just create an images folder and place the images inside that. Let me just change the name so that it will be easier for me while referring to this image. Home, profile and contact. Let us create the image tag in our right column. So image source is equals to we'll just refer to the image we have in our images folder. Now let's check in the browser. Okay, now let's start decorating this page. For the text column, let us give padding B4. And for the whole row, we'll add some classes to make it look better. We'll give border G0 rounded and we'll add some shadow. Shadow SM. Next, uh, for the image, we'll give image thumbnail so that we'll get that rounded colors on the side. I'll add a class called dimension to it and we'll set height and width for it. So width 500 and height 300 px. Now let's change the background color of the active tab. So we'll take the parent class nav tabs. then nav links dot active and we'll apply background color purple text color white and border 3px solid same color let me give some space between this heading books of five tabs and our design now for other tabs we'll give the background color white and the text color purple border purple we'll apply some more css like margin right so that we'll get some space between the tabs and we'll increase the size of the tab a little bit so we'll give padding left and padding right it looks better now now we have to work on the other tabs like on click of the tabs the particular content of that tab should display we can achieve that via data attributes let us give a unique id to it id is equals to home and we'll just copy this and we'll just duplicate this tab pane two more times for profile and content and we'll change the ID to profile and content. Let's change the heading and the images as well.
Now in order to make the links toggle, we have to add the data attribute. Data toggle is equals to tab to the anchor tag and tell every link what it should display through its anchor. So href is equals to we have to give the ID name. We'll do the same thing for other tabs. Now let's check in the browser. So you can see now the text and the images are changing on click of the tabs. Next, if you see on hover, the border color is somewhat gray. We'll just make it purple. So, same class name, nav tab, nav link on hover. We'll give border purple. Now, when I hover on it, it's purple. Next, we'll add the icons for home, profile and contact. Let us go to the Bootstrap website and search for the icons. I'll take this for home tab. Let's copy this piece of code and add it in our HTML file. We'll do the same thing for others. I'll take this for profile. Next, contact. So now we are able to see the icons in our tabs. We'll change the border color to purple. So first let us change for the nav tab. Here you can see that they have some other border color. We can just copy it and override our color in it. Color has changed. And for the content, we'll just take the tab content and apply the CSS for it. Border, purple color. We'll do one last change. We'll just apply some padding to the whole content. It looks nice now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Wishing you all a happy, healthy and successful year ahead.